Hello everyone. This video presents the solution to example 9 on buoyancy. So here is the problem. A container holds two layers of different liquids. One liquid has a specific gravity of 1.2 and 250 mm thick and the other has a specific gravity 1.5 and 300 mm thick. A solid spherical metal having a diameter of 2 to 5 or radius of 112.5 mm and a specific gravity of 7.4 is submerged in such a manner that half of the sphere is on the top layer and the other half is in the bottom layer of liquids. So compute the weight of the spherical metal in newtons, compute the buoyant force acting on the metal in newtons and compute the tension in the cord holding the metal to maintain its position. So let's draw the figure so that we can analyze the situation. So the upper part of the sphere should be submerged because its radius is less than 0.25 meter and as well as the bottom portion. So we have upper layer specific gravity 1.2, lower layer specific gravity 1.5, the weight, let's denote that by W. So, of course, the arrangement of the layers of liquid should be from lighter to denser. And we have buoyant force in the BF1 and BF2 acting. And therefore, because this, this metal will definitely sink because its specific gravity is 7.4, so at cord is attached holding the position of the sphere as shown. So for the weight, it is specific weight of metal 7.4 times 9810 newtons per cubic meter times volume of the sphere which is 4 thirds pi r cube. So weight equals 7.4 times 9810 times 4 thirds pi 0.1125 meter cube. So in newtons, the weight of the spherical metal is 433 newtons. For the second part, compute the buoyant force acting on the metal. There are two parts, BF1 and BF2. So the buoyant force is BF1 plus BF2, where volume on the upper part is just half of the volume of the sphere. So it is 1.2 times 9810 times 2 thirds pi 0.1125 cube. That's BF1 plus 1.59810 times 2 thirds pi 0.1125 quantity cube. So combining these two terms using the calculator, BF is 79 newtons. And finally, for the third, compute the tension in the cord holding the metal to maintain its position. So we just sum up, apply equilibrium equation, summation forces y equals 0. So tension plus BF equals W. Tension plus buoyant force equals W. So tension plus 79 equals 433. So the tension is equal to 354 newtons. So that's it. That's the solution to this problem.